And today I'm going to do a little wear test with these impressed nails from Kiss. Yes, so they're super easy to use. I have used them before. Um, I'm going to prep my nails with this um, nail polish remover instead of the alcohol that's in there. See if that helps a little bit better. And it's this cute little, it's from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still have it, but they're little pads to remove nail polish in this cute little container. So I'm going to use that to prep. And of course, I always forget something. Um, I am going to use... Ta-da! My Kiss glue. So it, this already comes with the um, adhesive tab stuck to the back, which you could wear on their own. But I want to see if I can get them to last a few days with the Kiss glue underneath. And they, they do hold on. I have used it with the glue underneath and they do hold on better. But I'm going to do a solid wear test because it's been a while and I don't remember what I did. And I figured I'd share it all with you. So easy peasy, easy to use. You prep your nail, you wipe it off. There's an alcohol prep pad, as I said, but I'm going to use the remover. Um, you peel off the backing. Make sure the backing, the sticky side is pointing down so it is at the cuticle part the top of the nail and then you press it on easy peasy and aren't they cute i think that'd be pretty so let's get into it and see what we got so let's take that aside it comes with the little prep pad a cuticle stick a little orange wood stick Take that off, and it comes with a tiny little file, and more instructions on the inside. So, and even a little chart for you to lay out the nails if you wanted to. Super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna take the little, we'll use whatever's in this kit. So I'm gonna, they don't make it easy to peel off, but there we, oh, it's stuck. <laughs> well. Put that on my prep bed so i have my stuff i'm ready to go we'll open up these fun little nails i'm gonna just dump them all out and stick that aside and let's see what we got my thumbs are on the large size So far, so good, unless they have something bigger. Nope, oh, those look the same, so put those up there. Let's see, unless that, oh, that's a little small. Oh, that one's not too bad. So easy to do, just go through size them all, see what works best. There's some fun accent nails, so I'm going to see what works. And we'll go with there, from there. I am back, I have them all sized up. My leftovers, because yes, I am super organized. I have these containers from the Dollar Tree with my little label maker, I put short. I have one for medium size press on nails and another one for long. Oop, I'm dropping them. And then inside, I got my little selection. So I have more of these impressed nails in here. Black, some pink. And these are from, these are nails from the Dollar Tree. So not too bad. So I'm going to shove these in one of the pockets. So then if I lose one during the week, I can go back in here and replace it with my leftovers. And I can always mix and match and make a new set, So, which is awesome. So that's my little organization for my press-on nails. Okay, so easy. I'm going to start by taking my little file 
and just lightly buffing the surface of my nail. You can definitely use a regular file. Actually, the sticky part helps. Oh, look at that. So I'm just going to lightly buff. They're already buffed because I just took my nails off and I filed and buffed them and um, put some cuticle oil on and let it sit for a little bit before I started in with this fun. So I'm just, just go through, lightly buff. You don't want to do anything harsh, but you just want something for the adhesive and the, you know, the adhesive all to stick to. So I want to give them the best chance there is. Let's see if they can withstand me being a hairstylist and having a busy work week. I'm thinking they're going to only last a couple days, but we'll, you never know. So I figured I'd put these on and see how they do. So I'm going to use the nail polish remover and just clean off all the nails gets all the oil off actually I'm going to do both I'm going to use the this and the um, alcohol wipe this one actually smells pretty good it has strawberry scented it really does smell like strawberries that's crazy so and my little paper towel to the side with the garbage I am going to definitely use this in case that had some oils in it just to be on the safe side so it's just a tiny little square and it's just regular old alcohol and I'm going to put that over everything else mm -hmm. okay now my little nubby nails are going to be prettier um, yeah, I already did the cuticle push in. So you want, want to start with your pinky and work your way up. I'm going to do the thumbs last. So those will go on very last. So it'll be easier to take these little tabs off. So what I'm going to do is take my kiss glue. I believe I got this at the dollar store and just put a little bit whoop, or a lot of it on my finger. Now this is where the, look at that. It's all dripping. Okay, that was a little too much. I guess that's where the cuticle stick comes in handy. Well, make a big mess, you know, because that's how I go do it. So the tab, as you can see, whoop, and I throw it. There's a little plastic tab on the back. So I'm going to peel that off. And then the stickies on this side. They're staticky, so they stick. So I'm going to put it. On. you want to make sure everything's straight so I'm gonna start the cuticle work my way up it looks straight and so I'm just gonna roll back and forth to make sure there's no air bubbles and press and hold it for like 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we're on oh that's a good length nice and short but it's still I like the length so as I'm sticking to everything but ah gee I really am sticking to everything Let's wipe it off okay so once again I'll try to put just the dot and move it around and then I'm going to take the cute little accent nail peel off the backing and then stick the little guy on so I'm going to start at the cuticle, work my way up. It looks straight, hold and press. I'm going to rock back and forth a little bit. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two on, and I'm just going to go with, like that with the rest. And you can just watch me work
I am back. Now that I glued all my fingers together. <laughs> the fun was glued. They're looking pretty. There could be a little rough edges at the top. So I'm going to take that same tiny little file that the kit came with. And just smooth out the top. On each nail. Making sure it's all smooth. They feel like really on there, which is nice. And there we go. Oh, do I have? I always mess something up. I think I glued my nail. See if I can get that off. Okay, well, it looks nice. There's a little rough spot from the glue. I am set. They're on. I'll give you a closer look right now while they're all pretty and on. And here's a nice closer look at them. So this is the Impress Press On Nails. I like them. They're nice and short, which will be a good change. I have glue like all over me because that's just, I make a mess. I have a little bit of glue on that, but you can't tell, so that's fine. I'm sure I can get it off. So that's it. I will give you some updates, and for you it'll be seconds. For me, it'll probably be a day or two, so see you in a minute. Update time. So I have had my nails on a couple days now, so... Um, I put them on on Monday afternoon. It is now Wednesday at 8 p.m. And they're all on. Look at that. So I'm very happy. Um, I had lost one. So the middle finger on my right hand, this one loosened. It was feeling funny um, pretty much right after I did it. It felt like it was loose. So I um, re-glued it on Tuesday, so yesterday. And it's been fine. Um, I've been working two days in the salon, wet hair, no tugging on the hair, um, they haven't been caught, um, they haven't been getting caught in my hair, so I am pleasantly surprised with these impressed nails. I'm impressed. <laughs> so anyway, so far so good. I will give you a, another update, at least one more, to tell you how it went and if they're all sticking in. So, so far, ten fingers, one was loose and I re-glued it and I have a chip in one nail which is sad looking at chip but I don't know how that happened but I'm not that as I've said before I'm not easy on my hands so <laughs> so not too bad I'm pleasantly surprised with them so I will give you an update soon. yep it's me Jenny B and here is to the end of my wear test on the impressed nails yes I took them all off they lasted a solid five days. And that is with four days working in the salon, shampooing guests, um, two extremely busy days, and they lasted. They were great. They were definitely ready to come off today. That's why they're all off. My nails are cleaned up. My cuticles are cleaned up. I put cuticle oil on. They're all nice. And, you know. We're gonna get a little break from nails. I am gonna put some um, nail strengthener on after this video. And in a couple days, I will do something else. We'll see, we'll see. So, very good, not too bad. My poor little nails, but they're, they're growing a bit, getting a little better. So I'm, um, yeah, I was super impressed with the Impress manicure, so yep. The Impress Manicure with the Kiss Glue worked great. 
I've had a five solid days of wear. I am saying that is a win. I probably could have gotten one more day, but I would have gotten my client's hair stuck underneath the nails and that would not have been good. But if you're working like an office job or something, they would probably last you like a week. So yeah, not bad. I put them on Monday. Today is Friday night and it was a win. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Yes. And um, don't forget to like this video. Give me a nice thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Yes. Woo -woo. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you get notified of all my upcoming videos. I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. And toodaloo.